What's going on everybody? Today I want to show you a Brantford project that we picked up, bird the property, and are now standing at $50,000 in with $1,000 positive cash flow. You want to see how we did it? Keep watching. So this summer we're working with Mike and Roman in Brantford, Ontario, and we're looking for a property to pick up. Because they're really familiar with the market, they managed to find a really amazing property for just $475,000. Now this property is a legal duplex with an additional non-conforming third unit on top. Now if you take into account the size of this place and the units that it offers, $475,000 is a steal for this place. Well, let's look into it a little bit. As you can see, this property has great bones and offers a lot of vintage appeal. It might look in some shots that it's a little bit run down, but it actually isn't that bad is only going to require some pretty minimal renovations to bring this property up to snuff and it's definitely worth it at this price. When we're first walking through it there were a lot of things that we really wanted to do to the property but we didn't want to go overboard so we wanted to keep things as minimal as possible and only focus on the important stuff that will yield immediate returns. Remember because this is a legal duplex and has a non-conforming third unit the bank refinance that we'll do later is only going to give us so much money recognizing the two units and not really the third. So we wanted to hit the ground running and we now have Mike and Roman walking through the property to show show you how it looks. Now we're entering the second unit, which is my favorite because of all these old school characteristics that we want to keep, like these railings, the stairs, and the stained glass window, a lot of people would just try to replace it and paint over it, but we want to keep some of the character. Upstairs is going to look totally different than down there. We like the layout and we're looking to modernize the space. Unfortunately, these old hardwood floors, they got to go. We're going to cover them up with beautiful vinyl. All right, so coming into the main bedroom here, there's a big water bed in here in, in our old footage and it was just super awkward and funny to have in here. So what we've done is obviously we've taken that out. We're gonna put new vinyl flooring on the, throughout the whole place, including this room. We're gonna paint the walls a lighter gray. We're, we've already painted the ceilings and put in the new pot lights, which make it feel super bright in here and it just, you know, it evenly lights the area. And then we're gonna take out these old windows and put some nice new ones in. It's gonna make the space feel bigger and just so much more welcoming. Now we're in the gutted kitchen. The plan over here is same type of deal like the living room. We're gonna lay out beautiful floors, paint, pot lights. We're gonna go with the L-shaped countertops. We have the provisions for the range hood, so the stove's gonna go here, the fridge is gonna go there, creating enough space for an eat-in kitchen. Okay, so as we enter the bathroom, you can see it's gutted, right? But before, this place was super tight and awkward. We had a tub here with a nook, the toilet was here, and it was tight to the vanity, and the door opened this way. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this way more functional, it's gonna flow way better. First off, we're gonna tile in a standing shower right here. Then we're gonna space out the toilet and put the vanity on the wall. The last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna switch out the door so it opens this way towards this wall, and that's gonna, that's gonna work way better for this bathroom layout. Also, if you look over here, you can see these studs, they're cut out in the middle and they're really weak. I could probably kick this down. We're going to sister them, we're going to fix it, make it structurally sound, and we're going to take out the, some of the mold left over on the ground and it's just going to be a beautiful bathroom. When dealing with small spaces, there's a good way to make up for it, and that's with quality. So we use really high quality materials here. Here we have quartz countertops and stainless steel appliances. Another way to make up for it is by really intelligent design. We made this peninsula here, which connects the living and dining area to the kitchen. We also come back into here, and we're gonna have a custom pantry. So smart design will make up for a lot of things. Now we're in the washroom. I don't know if you guys remember, but it used to be dark and gloomy. Now we've actually brightened it up, pushed the wall back so people can actually fit in the shower. We got a brand new new vanity, new toilet, and fresh new floor. Now this is a bachelor unit, but it's so functional. There's so much you can do with it. First, you can put a bunch of bar stools here. You can eat and serve people at the peninsula. This could be a place where you could either have a, a, an office desk or you could have a breakfast bar. And I can actually fit under here, no problem standing, but most likely you're gonna be sitting under here. And there's a few spots like this in the bachelor unit. So now that you've seen what we're doing, I wanna go over some numbers here and really show you what it is that we're doing. On a very high level, there are gonna be some things that I'm leaving out, but these are details because these numbers work out so good, it's not even gonna Really matter. These are ballparks, but just check it out. We bought the property for $475,000, which means that we needed $120,000 down payment. And we're only budgeting about $60,000 in renovations, which brings our total capital requirement to $180,000. The renovation happens in two months and the refinance happens in four months. And the projected value for this property is $650,000. Now, what does this mean for the Burr method? If we refinance the property at $650,000, we're gonna be doing a 75% loan to value, which means we're gonna pull up $488,000 out of that property. But we still have to pay a few things off here. So now we're going to pay off the previous mortgage, which is $356,000, which is now
now leaving us with $136,000 returned to us. Now, how much did we spend? We spent $180,000 roughly. There were some additional costs there, but let's just go with the rough numbers. $180,000, so subtract $132,000. That's bringing us to $48,000 left in the property. So now, what does the cash flow look like? We're looking at $1,400 rental for the one unit, $1,700 rental for the second unit, and then $1,000 rental for that attic unit. That's $4,100 a month. We have $3,000 in carrying costs. That includes your mortgage, utilities, taxes, insurance, and anything that you will need to pay for except for property management and you're left with $1,100 in positive cash flow every month and you only had to be left in after about four months $48,000 so you now have a profitable asset for just $50,000 using the Burr method in Brantford that is how it's done like this video subscribe to our channel and I'll see you on the next one